Hello and welcome everyone to the Week Ahead Commodity Report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. So firstly, last week we had the biggest one day move in history for gold. So the breakout and surge that we saw to the upside was a historic move and this week we have seen oil prices break down to 18 year lows. We've mentioned this before, the current market conditions, if you're savvy, if you're nimble, these extraordinary times in the markets, you can really capitalize and make significant gains right now. So last week, as we mentioned, we got into gold at 1480. We banked 1,500 points on the position last week. We still have part of that position still running as we go into a new week. We have also been selling short oil, which is currently up over 300 points. And we have a long position on platinum, which is currently also up over 500 points. Not only that, we've just executed a trade yesterday on natural gas which is currently up also over two percent to the upside so with that let's actually move over to the charts and we'll talk you through exactly what we're looking at as we head into a new week but also a new quarter as well of course from wednesday onwards we'll be transitioning into april and what to expect next Firstly, just moving over to gold again, bear in mind that on Tuesday, the 31st of March, not only will it be the end of a month, but also the end of a quarter. And given that we've had such a historic move with gold over the latest week, we might see some degree of profit taking on Tuesday. It's just something to bear in mind at the moment. Right now, gold has been finding support above 1,600 US dollars per ounce and resistance at approximately $1,640. Now, this is gold gold spot price that we're tracking right now gold future price is currently higher than the spot price but currently gold is trading at 1615 US dollars per ounce we've been consolidating now for 3 days and as i mentioned we continue to manage our position which we executed at 1480 US dollars per ounce so just to show you the magnitude of that move you may recall just a week and a half ago where gold continued to consolidate and find support at 1450 US dollars so we've been able to capitalize on this whole move to the upside here not only on gold there but also platinum followed through last week as well nice solid breakout to the upside over 500 points banked on this position we're still managing the trade as well it's been interesting with the gold to silver ratio so the gold silver ratio has in fact started to break back out again today so the gold silver ratio is currently up over one percent and right now we're also continuing to see silver start to pull back too as a result of the gold silver ratio breaking out so silver is currently down 2.3 percent on the day we're holding just above 14 dollars per ounce right now and this will be important actually as we go into april here to see whether silver is going to be able to maintain the recent breakout that we've had over the last week and a half we've been trading this move via gold via platinum and also selling into oil and going long on natural gas the recent correlations that we've had over the last Last few days here but what I'm looking at here for silver if the gold silver ratio does continue to surge higher and if silver is unable to hold above the $14 level we might set up for a bear flag where it does roll over again and either offer an opportunity to short or to be patient and wait for a move back towards the swing lows over April in order to build positions at lower prices for potential rally later on into the second quarter so silver right now where the price is currently at $14 per ounce I'd watch out if it was to break down within a bear flag we could start to accelerate further as especially if we see end of quarter profit taking on the flip side if silver can hold at these levels above $14 and build another breakout break back above the $15 handle that's where we can start to really build a more significant base here and of course then start to make a move back towards $15.50 and $16 per ounce so silver is at a decision point it's under some pressure right now with the gold silver ratio starting to break out to the upside again remember the gold to silver ratio, when it's going up, that puts pressure on gold and silver. And when the gold silver ratio is selling off, that supports gold and silver. So the gold silver ratio hit all time highs a week and a half ago. That's where you saw gold break down to $1,450. And now we're starting to see the gold to silver ratio go back up again, which is putting pressure on on the metals which then leads me back over to gold so gold is consolidating right now effectively i'm looking for support at 1600 at the moment as long as gold maintains above that level 
I would look at them buy opportunities at that zone. If we continue to retrace and hold above 1600, and then I'm looking for resistance in the upper range to be at 1600 and approximately 50 US dollars per ounce. You can see right now, gold is down 0.4% on the day. We may well get another retest back towards support over the course of this week. You can see even at the moment on the daily chart, we've got a lot of high wicks here, which does show you that support is already coming in at the lower end of this channel. We've dipped now today down to 1610. 1610 US dollars per ounce. Again, gold's getting support. Quite a tight range, actually, so far over the last three days, considering we were seeing up to a thousand point ranges in a day. Now, gold over the last couple of days is moving between approximately a 15 to 20 point range, which is very tight considering the recent price action. So, no doubt we're going to be coiling and getting ready here for a more significant breakout. And what we want to observe is which way that gold is going to break out. But for the time being, whilst the price remains above 1600, as long as it doesn't close below that level, I would perceive this to be supportive and the potential to rally back towards 1650. But remember, it needs to hold above 1600. We need to continue to see buying evidence above that zone in order to see a continuation and then a potential another breakout back towards those swing highs again. So that's really what I'm looking at over the next few days here for silver. As I mentioned, we've still got our long position on from 1480. We have banked partial profits to lock in 1500 points here. So 1,500 points banked in the latest week. And now we're just continuing to manage that trade. So that's the expectation with gold over the course of this week. Then let's actually move over to the energy. So crude oil, we have a sell short, which we've executed here just last week on Thursday. So we got into this trade at $23.55 per barrel. That worked out really well with a nice bear flag here. We've had that very common gap lower as well on the open here on Sunday through to Monday. It's gapped lower back to test $20 per barrel. We're currently up 300 and approximately 30 points exactly actually on that sell short right now. So we're up on our sell short 330 points right now with the price trading at $20.25 per barrel. At the moment, we are certainly seeing some support for oil at approximately 20 US dollars per barrel. So I'm watching this level very carefully. If oil is able to hold on a closing basis above $20 per barrel, I would expect range-bound price action, the potential for retracement back towards the 23 US dollar per barrel level. Now, remember, we've still got our sell short on. We're up over 300 points on this trade right now. So I'm monitoring this very closely. If we were to see a sudden breakout to the upside, this is where we could lock in more profits. But at the same time, if oil does continue to roll over, and if it does break and close below $20 per barrel, it does open up the door for a more significant decline here. The real next levels of support below that will be $18 and then below that, $15 per barrel if oil was to continue to accelerate lower. Another trade that I do like at the moment, which is up 4.9% on the day, is natural gas. We executed this just on the Sunday through to Monday open. This has already been a nice gap filled trade. It's moved really well in our direction here. Typically, natural gas is a strong performer as well over the month of April. So that's looking really solid at the moment. These extraordinary moves that we've seen in the markets are providing opportunities to generate profits, which would typically take you months to do. We're able to do this just within a matter of days at the moment with the current market volatility. It's absolutely perfect as well for those who currently have more time available, you might be working from home, you're looking for high income opportunities online, there is no better way really to generate that than trading and learning how to capitalize with a research driven approach in the current market conditions. And that's really key here. You don't want to be using outdated technical strategies. You want to be using research and data and intelligence, which will give you an edge in these markets so that you can manage your portfolio well in these fast moving markets. It's really important that you've got information in real time. That comes down to understanding fundamentals, geopolitical news, the cycle that we're in in the market day to day, week to week, month to month, marrying that up with seasonality, also what the hedge funds are doing versus the retail traders in the market. So what the money managers are doing, what the institutions are doing versus the new novice traders in the market, which are just purely looking at technical analysis, which is not going to give them an edge in these markets. You then want to also further compound that with data and market intelligence. And that is what will give you an edge in these lucrative trading conditions at the moment. So, of course, if you would like to find out more how to become a member of the Golden Silver Club, there is an opportunity for you to do so. As a member of the Golden Silver Club, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You have real-time trade alerts, 
real-time trading research and market insights, as well as access to our Private Members Academy website and support and one-to-one -one mentoring. For more information about the service, just go to www join the live trading room.com the link is also below this report in the description so just click on the link make an application and we will of course get in touch with you asap and do make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel that way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports